Hello and welcome to Roll of Law. So my name is Ian Runkel. I've just started playing in the Lawyers and Dragons campaign, which you can find online. I'll link it in the description below. But I started this channel so that I could talk about some of my nerdier interests, like role-playing games and like the Lawyers and Dragons campaign. So the character I'm playing in that is a character called Gimlet Otter Fiegel. He's a gnomish wizard, and the best way to describe him is with a clip from Breaking Bad. Dude's like Houdini. Seriously, when the going gets tough, you don't want a wizard. All right, you want a criminal wizard. Know what I'm saying? This is one thing I really like about 5th edition D&D, which is that the class roles aren't as strict as they were in some of the previous editions. You can kind of step outside of the usual stereotypes in order to play something different, like a criminal wizard without necessarily needing to multi-class into rogue or something like that. And that's fantastic for me because I'm a criminal defense lawyer in real life. I have a whole bunch of experiences that I can draw on in order to better play the character and hopefully make it a more fun experience for me and everyone else at the table. So that is wonderful. But one of the challenges when you're rolling up a new wizard character is choosing your spell list, because of course this is a big decision. You're going to be stuck with those for a while. And the one spell that was an absolute no-brainer, it was the first spell I put on the list, was Catapult. Now, if you're not familiar with Catapult, it is a first-level transmutation, casting time one action, range of 60 feet with a great big asterisk on that, because you target an object weighing 1 to 5 pounds within 60 feet, but then you can fling that within to another 90 feet. So lawyers are not renowned for their math skills, but that gets us a total of 150 feet. Catapult has some really interesting and unique mechanics, and I'll talk about that in a little bit here. Uh, the components are somatic, and the duration is instantaneous. This is basically a combat spell, or at least that's its primary intention, although it does have some other uses. And when that object, object hits something, that uh, thing takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Of course, it's a dex saving throw to avoid, and the interesting thing on this is that most spells, if something makes the dex save, or it either takes half damage or no effect, but Catapult actually has the ability to retarget itself in a certain fashion because you fire the object along a line, and if it doesn't hit the first thing in the line, then it might hit the next. And if it doesn't hit that, then it might hit the next, and so forth. So you can actually get multiple tries on it. Now, Catapult is a perfect spell for Gimlet, and lots of people are probably thinking, okay, well, the reason is probably because you can fling all sorts of objects. And so the usual thing people talk about is using this to throw things like Alchemist Fire, or Nets, or Holy Water, or these kinds of things, and saying, okay, we'll get our 3d8 bludgeoning damage, but then we can also set it on fire with the Alchemist Fire and get some additional damage. Now... Rules is written, this doesn't actually work, in the sense that if you strictly apply the rules, Catapult does 3d8 bludgeoning damage, and that's it, no matter what you throw with it. So it doesn't matter if you throw Alchemist Fire, 3d8 bludgeoning. It doesn't matter if you throw a sword, still 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Or a dead porcupine with spikes on all sides. You can see how this sometimes doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and most DMs will allow you to throw things like Alchemist Fire and so forth. This basically turns Catapult into an option where you can essentially add an expensive material component and get some additional effect. I don't think this breaks the game in any way, I don't think it's an unreasonable thing in any sense, but if your DM doesn't allow it, your DM is just applying the rules as they are written. So. Talk to your DM before you assume that that's, the, uh, that that's an available use. But this is not why it's perfect for Gimlet. Um, the main reason I want to take this spell for is because it's hilarious. You can target an object between 1 to 5 pounds and then fling it at something. And there's a giant list. This is just from the player's handbook. I'm going to bring up the list here. Hopefully it's scrolling across my face right now. And you can see all sorts of things that you can actually fling with this spell, some of which are really going to be a lot of fun. And you're not limited, of course, to things that are detailed in the player's handbook. You can throw anything you can imagine. You can throw a rock. You can throw a tree branch. And remember how I said that rules is written. It doesn't matter what you throw. It does 3d8 bludgeoning damage. That actually can work both ways. That can work to your favor as well. Because, according to the rules as written, if you throw a one-pound pillow at something, you can pillow fight it for 3d8 points of bludgeoning damage. 
So the wonderful thing about Catapult, or one of the, the really fun parts about this spell, is just that you get to pick objects and turn them into 3d8 points of bonk. Um, just that is in and of itself magical. But it is it goes even beyond that when you're playing a criminal character. The components, as I mentioned, purely somatic. There is just a somatic component. There's no verbal component, which means that in theory you can cast this from hidden, and you might not, you know, reveal your position. Especially because catapult, as I mentioned, has very unique mechanics. No other spell that I'm aware of has this thing of you target something and then it flies in that fashion. Telekinesis does let you throw things, but it's not an instantaneous spell in the same fashion. But this actually means that you can do some interesting things with sort of indirect fire. Not as in like mortar shells, but as in you can actually target a creature or you can have a creature and you can target an object that's behind it and make it see or make it feel that it's being attacked from behind because now the objects that are flying at it are flying at it from behind. This is a great way, if you are trying to sneak around, that you might get a guard to turn and think that the attack is coming from the wrong direction. This can be a distraction. You can also use this as basically kind of baby's first telekinesis. Mage Hand allows you to do some stuff within a short distance, but here you can actually just fire something. If, if all you need is that you want that object to be in a different place, you can use this not for the damage purpose necessarily, but just to move the objects. So you can, you know, fire something in order to, if something has dropped a weapon, you can remove that weapon from it within reach. Or you could potentially use it at, just as a means of theft. You see something and you cast the spell and you fire it out and then go retrieve it from wherever it lands. All of these provide for a lot of fun and yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing around with this one. Because being able to turn objects into bonk is fantastic. So, yeah, this is kind of just my thoughts on this one. I know that, uh, you know, Catapult is not the strongest damage spell. Magic Missile typically will is much more reliable damage. And over the course of your campaign, you're probably going to do better damage-wise with Magic Missile. But for Gimlet, it's the wrong choice. I'm looking for something that's both a little funny but also something that I can use in a variety of ways and that really meshes with the sort of concept of this criminal uh, wizard, this character who might be up to no good. So that's kind of my thinking on this one. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to share that with you. I, As I said, I started this channel because I'm going to be doing the Lawyers and Dragons thing on a, a regular basis here. I'm really excited about that. And I knew I was going to want to make videos and talk about all of my thoughts on this. So here's the first one of those. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to see more content if you liked all of this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm sure I'm going to have more thoughts as we go.